man who can undermine the leader of an entire organization devoted to world domination is a man to be feared. This will buy you the time you need. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Destro. Leadership. It has to be taken out of chaos by someone with complete control. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1983's G.I. Joe, a real American hero numbers 11, 14, and 15, which was expanded upon in 1987's Action Force numbers 4 and 45. With his metallic mask, Destro looks like the kind of villain that would be loaded with superpowers. In fact, though he does have access to some mighty technology, Destro's real power lies in his Machiavellian skill and cold-blooded strategic planning. We have only one target, and that is the volcano itself. Concentrate your fire at this level. Destro's introduction came in the middle of an ongoing G.I. Joe storyline. As usual, the team was fighting their arch enemies, the evil terrorist organization known as Cobra. Soon, Flint and the other Joes will pass directly over the pit of chaos, and there they will learn the folly of pursuit. Destro apparently already had a past relationship with existing Cobra member, the Baroness. In his initial experience, Destro had created a complicated scheme in which a plague was unleashed upon an entire town as a way of distracting the world from Cobra's actual goal of obtaining plutonium. At this delicate juncture, I shall take no chance of anything going wrong. Some issues later, readers learned a bit more of the depth behind Destro and the Baroness's past relationship. They also learned that Destro still cared a great deal for the Baroness. My beautiful lady of the lake. He had set in motion a plan to kill the Cobra Commander, but was forced to rescue the leader when it appeared that his plan would also destroy the Baroness. Destro proved that, while he was indeed a villain, he still possessed some positive traits, like honor, and his heart was not as cold as his metallic face would have us believe. A 1987 storyline revealed even more tidbits about Destro's past. The current Destro was the latest in a long line of arms manufacturers. This family had profited from selling weaponry since the days of the Crusades and erected a castle in the Balkans. Destro became a member of Cobra, not because he believed in its ideals, but because the commander was powerful but unstable. Thus, this arms dealer planned to manipulate Cobra to his own ends. I, Destro? Surely you mean we? In fact, readers saw a much younger Destro in a confrontation with his father, who, at the time, wore the trademark mask. His father berated him for selling arms to the wrong people. The young man responded by killing his father, claiming the old man had become kind of soft. The son took his mask and proclaimed himself to be the new leader of the Destro clan. In 2007, some revisions were made to that story. The Destro family was actually McCullen, and they were of Scottish ancestry. They had sold weapons as far back as the 13th century. When the English broke an agreement with the McCullens, they imprisoned the head of the McCullen clan for years, making him wear an iron mask to keep his identity secret. I've finally taken my place in the long line of McCullens. James McCullen is no more. Now, you are Destro. In this story, the current head of the Destro organization was James McCullen. He was visited one stormy night by a masked man who wanted him to join the revolutionary force that he was forming. Destro didn't exactly trust the man and certainly didn't share his beliefs, but he saw an opportunity to profit substantially and so began his alliance with the Cobra Commander. When I'm finished, my money will take care of itself. You'll be able to do all the research you want. His trademark silver mask makes Destro a villain with a distinctive look that allows him to really stand out on the comic pages. But it's his ruthlessness and cunning that makes him such a fan favorite. As a foil for Cobra Commander, he provides a level of complexity to many stories and adds more conflict beyond simply fighting the G.I. Joe force. They have no commitment to our cause. They are nothing more than money-grubbing mercenaries. Are you a fan of the dastardly Destro? <laughs> How well you perceive the situation! For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I believe the expression is, till we meet again. <laughs>